Watch you guys today we'll take a look at one USB flash drive to fix any PC problem using Ventoy. Now Ventoy is a really useful bit of software that will create your USB flash drive for you and you just then drop on your ISO files. So once the Ventoy has created your USB flash drive you just drop on say for instance your WinPE ISOs, your uh, Windows ISOs or Linux distros or anything like that and it will basically allow you to boot to these actual ISOs very quickly using the Ventoy menu system. So all you need to do is head over to the download section, download the windows.zip or linuxtar.gz uh, or you can have the live CD ISO version. So we're going to go for the Windows zip version. Click on this. It will take you to GitHub where you will see the Wintoy uh, GitHub page. All you need to do here is click on the latest little green bit here. This will take you to the latest version. Then all you need to do is uh, come down the menu system a little bit here until we get the download section, which is just at the bottom here. Now, what we're going to be downloading is the Windows version here. So I'm going to download the latest Windows version and uh, we need to unzip this. So you'd need some sort of software like 7-zip or something like that to unpack it. And then all we need to do is extract the folder inside here to a location. I'm going to put it in this little ISO folder here. I'm just going to drag it over here because I'll be using these ISO files to put onto my USB flash drive. Now, again, like I said, fixing any PC problem, this could be backing up your data. You could use, say, for instance, a Cronus ISO to boot to and back up all your data. You can use WinPEs to uh, reset passwords or maybe get data back by using data recovery software or check the hard drive and all this sort of good stuff. So I've got my USB flash drive plugged in and what I'm going to do is double click on the Ventoy uh, icon here and this will open up the actual program. Once we get this open, we can then start to prep the drive ready for our ISO images. So we've got Ventoy uh, to disk open here. You can see the device is my USB flash drive. Make sure that is the correct one there because it will erase all the data. We're going to click install. It's going to say this drive will be formatted. All the data will be lost. I'm going to say yes to continue. It gives you a double check. So I'm going to say yes one more time here. And this will go ahead and start to install uh, Ventoy onto that USB flash drive. You should see congratulations here. That has now been completed. And once we open up our USB flash drive, we can then just drop on our ISO files. Now, if it's outdated, you can always hit the update and uh, basically click yes here, and this will update your Ventoy without deleting all your ISO images, which is very useful. Okay, so our Ventoy is now completed. You can see here it's empty. And what we need to do now is drop on some ISOs into this USB flash drive and then boot to that USB flash drive. Let me show you this. So I'm just going to go to my folder, which has all my ISOs. Now I'm just going to drag these on here. This is going to be, for instance, all of the Windows ISOs that I want to use here with one WinPE. Now you can put on what type of ISOs you want on yours, whether it'll be some sort of backup software, a WinPE, or whether it'll be a distro, or whatever it is you want to have on your USB flash drive, which you want to boot to. Now, maybe you install a lot of different operating systems. You can drop them all on here, whether it be Windows, Linux, and you can boot to these and basically install them. So I've got a bunch of them here, as you can see, copied over to the USB flash drive. All I need to do now is change my boot order to boot to the USB flash drive. And there we have Ventoy booted up. We can now choose any of these to load up. If I wanted to install Windows, I can boot to one of these ISOs here, or maybe I wanted to install, say for instance, a Linux distro, I could do, or maybe boot to a Cronus a backup software, a live environment, I could boot to that and then back up that system. I'm just going to quickly boot to this uh, Sergey's uh, WinPE here so you can see it, how it works. All I need to do is select this and it will load up just like so. And again, it's got loads of tools on here which you can use to uh, fix PC problems and things like that. So if you needed to back up data on a PC that is not booting because the operating system is corrupted, you could boot to Sergey's tool and basically back up all of that data. Maybe you want to do some data recovery, or maybe you want to try to fix Windows, or you want to do some scans on it because it has viruses on that PC. You can do all of that with this sort of toolkit. Very, very useful to have 
Ventoy with all your favorite ISOs on there. So here we are, we're at the desktop of this one here. And again, this is why Ventoy is so good because it basically allows you to drop on any type of ISO file that you use on a regular basis. So if I install a lot of Linux distros, you can have all your favorite ISO files with Linux on them and boot to them and install them. Again, same thing for Windows. You can have all different variants of Windows as well. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. This is Ventoy. It's a pretty awesome bit of kit. I'll leave the link in the video description. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joining my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely Christmas and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.